This is question number three from IIT Jam paper. Now let's see what the question is saying. So this says that you know you have a sequence of uh, numbers x one, x two, x three, and so on, and the uh, number of numbers or the sample size is n. Now this tells you that you know the mean of the this is x bar. and then it tells you that you know k is any real number and what k is is anything other than x bar so ideally it is it is like saying that you find a series of numbers so for example you have 1 2 3 4 5 and for this i know that the mean would be 3 so if my mean x bar is 3 then k can be anything but not 3 it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 2.5 it can be 3.7 it can be anything but not 3 now you know this is s1 and s2 be the sum of squared deviations so in one case you're finding the sum of squared deviations from the mean and in the other case you're finding the sum of the squared deviation from any any real number other than mean and now this is asking you which of these relationships is true let us try and solve this thing what i will do is i would begin with s2 so let's write s2 what is s2 s2 is given to you as submission xi Minus k whole square, and s one is given to you as submission x i minus x bar whole square. Now, if I can find some relationship of this s two with s one, the first thing that I would like to do is understand which is the value of k which either minimizes or maximizes. the sum of deviations that is what i want to do as the first step so you know what i will do is the following i am going to go ahead and minimize s2 with respect to k now i am doing this just to understand which is the value of k that minimizes s2 so what i am going to do is differentiate s2 with respect to k this would be differentiating submission xi minus k whole square with respect to k this would be 2 submission submission xi minus k into minus 1 and what's the rule of minimizing or maximizing you differentiate the function and equate it to 0 so i'm just equating it to 0 so this would be minus 2 submission xi minus k is equal to 0 or submission xi minus submission k 2 has gone to the right is equal to 0 or submission xi is equal to submission k now please don't cancel it out please look here what i am doing see sum of a number which is a constant and the number being summed n times this is also being summed from 1 to n and this is also being summed n times so it's like saying k plus k plus k plus k and so on n times okay so whenever number is being summed up n times what do you do you simply write n into k so this is what i'm going to do or submission xi is equal to n into k or submission xi by n is equal to k so you know k is submission xi by n which is nothing but x bar now how do we know that we are actually minimizing the function to know that what i'm going to do is i'm going to double differentiate the function so you know my first differentiation is this please note this down very carefully from here 
this is my first differentiation of the function. Although I equated this to zero, but this is what my really first differentiation is, right? So my first differentiation of the function is two submission xi minus k into minus one. If I again differentiate this with respect to k, if I again differentiate it with respect to k, then what will I get? I will get two submission. Now, differentiation of minus of xi with respect to ki is zero. Just try and understand this thing. Differentiation of ki with respect to ki is one into minus one. So this would be minus, this would be two submission minus one into minus one. And minus one is getting summed up n times. So this will be two minus n into minus one. This would be two, which is greater than zero, therefore minima. If it would have been less than zero, it would have been maximized. So this is minimized. You get this. So what I'm coming to from here is that actually k bar is that value which minimizes k, k is equal to x bar is that value which minimizes my sum of squared deviations. So when k is equal to x bar, if the sum of square of deviations is minimized then for any other value of k you know then when k is not equal to x bar for any other value of k this value whatever that value may be will definitely sorry s2 right this value will definitely be greater than s1 because s1 is when you know indirectly if i go back and look here what is s1 s1 is when you when k was x bar and this is all those values other than k equal to x bar isn't that the case and we know here this is the minimum value you cannot attain any value lower than this irrespective so because this is the minimum value any other k other than x bar would give you a higher value so therefore, my answer would be 3. S2 will be definitely greater than S1 for any k. k can be negative, positive, fraction, any k. S2 will be greater than S1.